Hey guys, Johnny V here with another random review. Uh, today we're going to be installing the American made Kurt trailer hitch on the 2016 Jeep Wrangler. They said it'll be easy, they said. So here we go. So here she is. The Kurt American made hitch for the 2060 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. And the tools you're gonna need are right here. What is this? This is a 19 millimeter socket and wrench. Here are the half inch bolts that came with it, a torque wrench, I'll tell you why we'll be needing this in a minute. And they said I'll need this, but that's no use. And I'll let you know why. We need the, what was this again? Yeah, five eighths wrench and socket. So here we go again. So the manual said some of the uh, bolts might not fit through. And that's why I had to take off the darn bumper and that's why we have the uh, 5 8 socket and wrench right there because this bad boy sorry that bad boy had to come off and I have uh, the wire brush because it said the instructions and foolish me believing foolish of me for believing that was gonna work they said that oh to make these holes bigger just use a wire brush. And we both know that a wire brush is not gonna make that hole any bigger. This one fits, and it was it? This one fits. So these two do not fit. Hence, that's why I got these unit bits to make the hole bigger. Those go directly into your uh, impact, impact gun. Uh, mine's a DeWalt, I prefer DeWalt. Personally, and I got those at Harbor Freight today on sale. I think they were eight dollars, not bad actually. And I got this paint to prevent rust. Once I do make that hole bigger, it will the actual steel will be exposed to all natural elements. So that's what all this is for. And uh, if you go and YouTube. The uh, Kurt installation online, they make it look so darn easy. Maybe in my situation was just a little more difficult. Hopefully you have a better one. But um, here we go. Again. So here we go. Looks like this hole here is an 11 16th hole. Sorry, 5 8 hole. So, looks like we got a ways to go. We're at about half an inch. So let's try this out. Actually, we're at three eighths right there. So let's go. Oh, how I love you in a bit. So, let's Here we go again. That ought to do it. Now for the next one. And this will be the perfect time to clean all the damn dust, excuse my language, all the dust that has collected behind here that you usually won't get to with your bumper on. go see how easy that is they wanted me to use a darn wire brush and uh, safety glasses are uh, recommended you want to get those uh, metal shavings in your eye safety is always first they said so 
Here we go. Spray a little bit of uh, black gloss, prevent rusting. And that should be good right there. A little, little drip going on, but um, oh well. That's all gonna be covered. All part of the frame. So let's go to install this bad boy. Okay, in the instructions it says, where's that? Some models may require hole enlargement. So with this bad boy, I finally got her on. And on the opposite, opposite side of this here, these actual um, holes, pre-made holes, I had to use a unibit right here to go through this thick steel and uh, you know, being a good designer, good uh, invention that it is, it, uh, it drilled through this thick steel here. So if you buy one and you're discouraged because you're excited and uh, you know, you have to re thinking about returning it because it doesn't fit, uh, it will fit. Just read the instructions and follow this video and you know, it will work. I did spray, uh, you know, I, sh I didn't make a, take a video of it, but I did spray the back of it after I, after I made the hole. And there might be little fingerprints because I was impatient because I don't want to work on this tomorrow and I have to leave. So, there you have it. Uh, put the bolts on and, sorry, put the nuts on Put the bolts on, put the nuts on, and you could go ahead and torque it to, I believe it's 110 pounds is what it says. And there goes my Australian cattle dog looking into my garbage. Hey, champ, what are you doing, bud? Get over here. Sit down. Hey, sit. Good boy. A little full bred uh, Australian red healer, red healer. But uh, back to this, um, you know, we'll go ahead and torque her and she should be ready to go. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask me on my feed and don't forget to subscribe. I will be having more videos on my Jeep and what I've done to get her where she's at. So... Here we are, we're finally done. This concludes this video. Finally got her on. And got the um, bolts torqued. And there we have it. It was quite a pain. I thought it was gonna be easier. And uh, one thing I didn't show you is um, the rubber mounts on the where are they at? on the passenger side that one right there I wasn't able to take it off so I had to kind of weasel my way around this huge trash can of a muffler but I was able to take off the um, driver side mount to make it easier to get my um, get my bolts in there so I could um, mount this uh, Kurt Hitch and um, just uh, that's about it just stay tuned for my next video I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you my uh, Black Widow aluminum uh, uh, dirt bike um, motorcycle carrier um, that's the reason why I got this hitch so just stay tuned for my next video show you how um, how that's installed and what my reviews are Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask and do my best to respond. Have a good one. Bye-bye.